Well, welcome, Brian. This is the Z Machine. Located on a high security base just outside Albuquerque, the Z Machine, as it's known, is run by John Porter. So this is the largest pulse power device in the world. It's also the largest X-ray generator in the world. So in about an hour, we're going to discharge about 26 million amps through a little thimble size um, cylinder of wires. This is, you know, 100 times bigger than the instantaneous power consumption of the United States, at least. Yeah. So, you know, again, just phenomenal amounts, but for very short periods of time. So that's what makes pulse power. With all this power at its disposal, the Z machine is able to recreate the conditions inside an H bomb. And so at this point, we, we, the conductors are inside a vacuum, and then they're converging all to the axis. And about, I don't know, 10 feet down there is where all the current gets concentrated in the thin wires. But we, you know, Nearby, John shows me a target that will sit at the center of the machine. So the 26 million amps is flowing right along there. And then you can barely see the, the array of wires. There's probably like 300 wires here. They look like a spider's web. Exactly. They're absolutely tiny. When it fires, these wires are rapidly vaporized and the strong magnetic field generated by the enormous electric currents force the wire remnants to implode. This is known as a Z-pinch. And it's this that creates the conditions for nuclear fusion to occur. All right, the diagnosticians are back down from rearming, and we're going to continue on with our checklist. Excellent. The Thank radiation you. generated by this machine is extreme, mm. and it can, in certain places, create lethal doses of radiation. So it's not a good idea to be stood here when you uh, when you do that. Oh, that's you. right. So it's about to get dangerous, <laughs> so we better take off. Right. <laughs> and we've got red flashing lights. Exactly. We have all the, all the signs that yep. it's better to leave. Yep. It's very <laughs> exciting. So we do about it, we oh, do it one shot a day. We, right, so this really... has already been locked up. I'll take you to the control room. The x-rays are so intense that people and video cameras are only safe inside the specially shielded control room. You guys still ready? We're ready for you to arm. Okay, we are still armed. Attention building 93, C is preparing to fire. We are starting CBL countdown. We are counting T-minus 135. We are charging. They're going to take it up to 82,000 volts. We are charging the MTGs. When it fires, this vast brute of a machine is powerful enough to create a minor earthquake that's felt across the entire site. Charge complete, arming to fire. T-0. Whoa. Only one image of the blast has ever been captured. This is that image. It's called a flashover, the result of the ferocious electromagnetic pulse as lightning dances around the metals in the room. Thanks, John. Did you guys trigger? Go. <laughs> that was it. It's a success. I, I felt the ground move. <laughs> So, <laughs> I think you did too, Brian. Yeah, really, I heard it. I heard it. All right, let's go look and see what uh, is left after the missed shot. So this was all fairly pristine at one point, stainless steel. It's quite remarkable. It's almost like the con well, it is the conditions in an atomic bomb, isn't it? Well, that's, that's the, the reason um, <laughs> these facilities were first created. So that's why it looks like it's been in a nuclear war. <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> it has. It has. <laughs> right.